Today I have something very special for you because um, the next upcoming minutes will be a brief but intense firework of knowledge that might be indeed able to influence your career profoundly. Because if you have really understood what I will go through in a bit, you might want to reflect on how you are approaching the next steps in your career. And for sure, you might want to reflect on the way how you are approaching your interviews with top strategy consultancies um, in the upcoming time. So in essence, um, the following thoughts are focusing on many careers um, in which your performance is evaluated by a panel of individuals using a set of pre-specified criteria. So for example, um, they decide if you get a job or get a promotion or get a good evaluation on a specific task. And if you want to achieve outstanding results here, the simplified formula for this is understanding times calibration times repetition, right? These are the three elements. And let me explain what I mean with this. So let's start with understanding. So you need to understand what exactly is expected from you and what are the criteria you will be evaluated against and why are the criteria are as they are, right? And also how you can proof and show these criteria in the moment of truth. So you will get an outstanding evaluation. Second, calibration. So you need to understand your current performance level under real life conditions. So it is simply just not enough to know um, you must do and you must do right. So calibration is a little bit tricky as you need to have access to resources that can offer extensive experience in the area that is tested to actually help you with providing directional feedback that you need to incorporate in order to excel on the criteria tested. And third, repetition. Um, in order to get a continuous performance along the criteria, right? Um, that you will need, to, that you will be evaluated upon, you will need to practice, 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 right? And you need to do that in an environment and with peers that um, at best are of high quality and challenging, as well as helping each other on their way to excellence. So, I mean, you rightly might uh, question now, how is this applying to my um, strategy consulting interviews, right? And let me let me do that breakdown for you. Because first, with regards to understanding, it is just crucially important to follow the right sources. There is just so much false advice flowing around the internet from junior consultants um, that is leading to a total information overflow. And this makes it really, really, really hard to differentiate on the one side between information that is actually accurate and helpful, and on the other side, information that is wrong and harmful for your performance. And to be very honest, if you are not completely sure what you will be evaluated on, it will be just very hard for you to achieve an outstanding result, period. Second, um, with regards to calibration, actually, you will find the same problem. So it is not enough to try to copy and, and paste approaches of others by listening to some videos or audio performances, right? Um, you will have individual strengths and weaknesses you're bringing to the table. And only someone who has seen a couple of hundred candidates performing within a, a strategy consulting context, right? can provide the right level of calibration. And this simply cannot be done by, by random people you find on, on, around every single corner of the internet, right? To practice with, and also not by even junior strategy consultants. 
because they will only be able to tell what they believe has worked for them. But this is far, far away from what you need to know and to, 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 to perform up on, right? To make it work for you. And third, with regards to repetition, you will just need to find the right people to practice with. And you will need to make sure that they are also knowing exactly what is tested for. And in addition to that, they need to look out for um, during your performance. So where should they emphasize on giving you feedback and how should they do it, right? Otherwise, you're just practicing and internalizing and scaling the wrong things over and over again, right? So um, while the formula understanding times calibration times repetition holds true for a variety of evaluations, it needs to be adapted um, on the context you're in, right? So if, for example, you can significantly prepare easier for a GMAT, right? Or for some uh, final exams um, with, with standard resources than for an interview with um, top strategy consultancies. And the main reason is that, for example, the GMAT is a standardized test that is only taken unidirectional. And, and a strategy consulting interview is, however, far less defined and also um, bidirectional meaning it is a conversation with you and the interviewer. And this conversation, despite there is a widespread belief that the interviewer um, would, would only assess how you approach the case, this conversation is designed in a way that the interviewer wants to get a, an understanding if he would be able to crack any strategic question that he or she could give you and not cracking this specific case, right? And that, def that definitely needs a completely different um, preparation approach, right? Because if it's not about cracking the case, but making sure you're perceived as a strategic problem solver, you will need to show other qualities. So, um, and all of what I just shared with you, right, um, is reflected how we are preparing our candidates to break into the world's leading strategy consultancies. And this also explains um, why we only work with the right candidates that are learning fast, that are open to receive expert steering, and that are able to train and challenge other high qualified peers. However, I mean, just think about your next career step. So how will you make sure that information times calibration times repetition is making you successful? Have fun exploring. Cheers.